Today, we'll guide you through a tutorial on transforming a monologue video into a high-fidelity, animated metahuman avatar using DeepMotion's Animate 3D service and Unreal Engine 5.5.2. Animate 3D will capture body, face, and hand movements from a single RGB video and generate a full-body animation for a 3D metahuman character. First, let's head to DeepMotion website. Today, we'll walk through the workflow of Animate 3D, an AI-powered tool that generates 3D animation from video. For this tutorial, we're using a monologue video featuring full body motion, facial expressions, and hand gestures. To get started, you will need an Animate 3D account. You can sign up here, and a freemium account will be created for you. After creating an account, sign in to your motion portal. Once logged in, launch the Animate 3D tool, which we will be demonstrating today. Animate 3D allows you to generate animations directly from video footage. Click the Create button, then upload your monologue video. Since we are capturing body, face, and finger motion, we need to use the adult female with facial rig UE character. This character is pre-configured for Unreal Engine compatibility. Select it, then click the Apply and Close button. Next, in the animation settings, enable the hand tracking and the face tracking to capture the detailed full body motion. Turn on physics filter to reduce artifacts like self-penetration. For a smoother result, adjust the motion smoothing to 0.3. That's it. Now, click the Create Animation button to generate the 3D animation from the input video. The request has been sent to the back end. Great. The animation has been created successfully. Let's preview the results. Great. The animation has been successfully captured from the uploaded video footage. As expected, the results include body, facial, and finger animations. Next, let's download the animation as an FBX file and rename it Monolog. The file has been successfully saved to our hard drive. First, Extract the downloaded zip file. You will see two extracted FBX files, one with a T pose as the initial pose and one without. For this tutorial, we'll use the version without the T pose. Rename the file to Monolog. Here, we've already installed Unreal Engine 5.5.2. Note that earlier versions, including 5.5.1, have a known bug that prevents body and facial animations from being imported and combined correctly. Now, let's launch Unreal Engine 5.5.2. Unreal Engine has launched. I previously created an empty project with the film slash video and live events template. So let's open it to import the animation from Animate 3D. All right, we've opened our empty Unreal Engine project. In the content drawer, I've created a folder named DeepMotion to store assets imported from DeepMotion. Now, let's drag and drop our FBX animation file into the content drawer. As the animation import begins, there are a few important settings to configure. First, in the skeletal meshes section, we need to ensure that import morph targets is turned on. This is essential for bringing in the facial animations correctly. Next, in the animation section, we must check the import animations option to make sure the motion data is properly imported. Additionally, there's a crucial setting called snap to closest frame boundary that needs to be enabled. This setting ensures that the animation frames align correctly, especially when the total frame count isn't an exact multiple of the FPS. Without it, the deep motion animation import might fail. With those settings configured, we can now let Unreal Engine handle the import process for the deep motion animation. As you can see, Unreal has successfully generated all the necessary assets, including the skeletal mesh and animation. Here's the animation asset created from the import. Let's check if everything looks correct. Perfect. Both body and facial animations have been imported successfully. In addition to the body motion, we can see that all the facial animation tracks have been brought in as well. The next step is to prepare a metahuman model so we can retarget the imported animation. 
If you haven't imported MetaHuman models into your Unreal project before, you can use Quixel Bridge to download and import one. After launching Quixel Bridge, navigate to the MetaHuman section on the left. This will load all the available MetaHuman presets. You can either choose a preset or create a customized MetaHuman and import it into your project. For this tutorial, we'll use a preset to test our animation. To download a character, simply click the download button on any model you like. In this tutorial, we've already downloaded the Pia character. Now, all we need to do is export the MetaHuman model to our Unreal project. In the content drawer, you should now see the MetaHuman character imported under the MetaHumans folder. Navigate to the Pia characters folder inside the MetaHumans directory and open Pia's blueprint. This is the blueprint for the Pia MetaHuman character. If you check the body bone, you'll find that the skeletal mesh name for the metahuman is f underscore srt underscore nrw underscore body. Take note of this name, as we will use it as the target skeletal mesh during the retargeting process in the next step. Now, go back to the deep motion folder in the content drawer. Right click the imported deep motion animation asset and select retarget animations from the context menu. The only setting we need to configure here is the target skeletal mesh name. Enter the skeletal mesh name we noted earlier, F underscore SRT underscore NRW underscore body, and select the correct target skeletal mesh. Next, double click the animation track you want to retarget to the metahuman character. The animation has now been automatically retarget from the deep motion rig to the metahuman rig. Even though the mesh isn't fully rendered yet, you can already see the hand animations playing correctly. We will render the rest of the body in the next step using a sequencer. Now, click the Export Animation button to export the animation. At this point, the deep motion generated animation has been successfully retarget to the MetaHuman character. Although it's not fully rendered yet, all the animation tracks, including facial blend shape tracks, are present. The final step is to render the animation using a sequencer. Now, let's add a level sequence to render the final animation. First, we need to import the MetaHuman character model into the sequencer. Open the content drawer, navigate to the MetaHumans folder, and then to the Pia folder. Drag Pia's blueprint into the sequencer. The MetaHuman model is now in the sequencer, and control rigs were automatically added for animation editing. Since we are not making any animation edits in this tutorial, we will remove the control rigs to keep the view uncluttered. Next, let's rotate the character to face the light source for better visibility. Now, we need to attach the retarget animation to the body bone of the MetaHuman. Click the plus sign beside the body bone, then select the MetaHuman animation asset named monologue underscore animal. As you can see, the animation was successfully attached to the MetaHuman rig. To ensure the full animation is played, let's select the entire duration of the animation in the sequencer timeline. Once selected, press the play button. Now we can see that the body, face, and finger animations have been successfully retarget to the MetaHuman character, and the animated MetaHuman is now fully rendered. Next, let's compare the MetaHuman animation with the driving video, including the original voice. Use similar distances as I do. I'm 5'10", and the phone is about six and a half feet away from me. It's on a tripod, and the camera lens is about halfway up my neck. So if I was to walk straight at you, the lens would be right here. <laughs> um, and it is slightly tilted to the bottom so that you can see my feet, and there's only a little bit of space above my head. And then this is how I would slate myself as a full body slate. Using Deep Motion and Unreal Engine 5. We can easily transform a monologue video into a 3D animated metahuman avatar in just three simple steps. Step 1. Convert the monologue video into a 3D animation. Step 2. Import the animation into Unreal Engine. Step 3. Retarget the animation to a metahuman.
No suits or hardware is needed, just your imagination and the desire to bring ideas to life.